Hi, Tom here from thekiteboardingcoach.com. Coming to you from Cape Town, end of the season, so I've got a bit of time to make some videos. I want to make uh, this video about riding upwind. Give you, there's loads of amazing videos on uh, YouTube. Make sure you get lessons. Uh, I'm just, I've been teaching for 10 years, so I'm just going to share you my thoughts and opinions and uh, offer you some tips that I think will really help you to uh, progress into riding upwind. So, riding upwind, um, the most important points. Um, Riding up wind, it's an amazing day. The day when you finally get to, to uh, come back to the place you started and no walking back up wind, it's amazing. You're in, like you're in for life. You're, you're, uh, you'll be in love with kite surfing. So how do we get there? First off, you've got to be consistently riding. So that means you need to be riding without crashing and without crashing your kite. If you watch any kite surfers on a beach um, who can stay up wind, they're not crashing their gear, they're not falling over. So that means you've got to control your speed and you need to be able to come to a controlled stop in both directions. So controlling your speed, first of all. The most common thing in my lessons that I see people is they're going so fast and then everything becomes too quick and then they end up letting go, falling and then having to relaunch the kite. You're never going to get upwind like that. So how do we get upwind? We control our speed. How do we control our speed? So once you're up and you're riding, you're going to bring your kite down low. We don't want to be pulled up. We want to be pulled across the water. So kite should be at 45 degrees. And now you're going to be riding to your left. We need to be looking upwind. We need to be going in that direction. We don't want to be looking downwind in front of us because we go where our head goes. And as we're going upwind, we really want to push the bar away. Um, we have a joke, uh, lots of instructors, I have a hat that says push the bar away and I have a um, t-shirt that says push the bar away to try and help my students to remember to push the bar away. I see so many people flying off at 100 miles an hour out of control, fighting, fighting and I just, it's funny because if you just push the bar away just a little bit Actually, then the power comes out of the kite, you're in control, you're going slower, you've got time to think. So push the bar away and that's really going to help you to slow down. Then we're going to look upwind. I love the saying, um, aim for the stars and you might get the moon. So literally, we want to aim for the stars or aim right upwind. And then as we're going off in that direction, we want to put more pressure in our back foot. So we're really edging um, with the board. We're leaning back and we're edging. And if you've got your, the, the speed you kind of want to go at is s slow enough so you're not sinking. Um, if you go too slow, you're going to sink. But if you go too fast, you're not going downwind. A um, couple of other little tips. You can take one hand off and that opens your shoulders up and that can get you upwind a bit easier. Um, and that does help a lot of people. Also, you need a bit of distance to get you upwind. So you need to go about 100 meters in either direction to be able to, to shave off those few meters by going upwind. And the other top tip is you want to not do a fancy turn and get it wrong. So it's better when you're learning to go upwind to come to a controlled stop, sit down in the water, bring the kite back to 12 and then do a board start in the other direction. You'll s lose less ground this way. If you can't already turn, and generally when you're at this stage, uh, turning's like an, another world, um, yeah, you, the last thing you want to be doing is trying to do a transition and then losing lots of ground and then not being able to get back upwind because you've lost so much ground by trying to do a turn. Keep it simple, um, kind of walk before we can run, Let's get to the stage where you're coming to a control stop, bringing your kite to 12, stopping on your terms, so there's no big crash or anything, and then checking in front of you, board starting again to your right, and then coming back, um, edging, controlling your speed, and uh, yeah, like I said, the day you come back up wind is a, an amazing day. Um, watch loads of videos. Um, I hope this vid video has been of value to you and my thoughts and opinions. Um, the, uh, there's, there's so many ways to do it, but um, yeah, just practice. It does take time, around 20 hours to get um, uh, independent, and even then, staying up wind can take several sessions, and try to keep um, going on your kite surfing, rather than uh, having a break for six months or three months, 
Um, it's really helpful to keep going, especially when you're in the upwind stage. Um, what can you take away from this video? Uh, come to a controlled stop, I think is the, the best advice that I can give, and then come back the other way, controlling your speed. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe. I've got some more videos coming. I've got some time here in Cape Town. Now there's no wind. Beautiful Cape Town. Um, if you've got any suggestions, any videos you'd like me to make, um, please uh, uh, write in the comments. And if you've got any videos of you riding and you want me to help you, um, just send them in and, uh, and I'll make a video, slow it down. Check out um, the uh, kiteboardingcoach.com and you'll find I've got a free ebook and a podcast that uh, hopefully will be useful to you. And also um, check out the description below for some links to some cool stuff that I recommend and, uh, and that should help you to progress. Uh, thanks for watching and see you on the water very soon.